Hello and welcome along to the next instalment of my Camper Conversion YouTube channel. Now this video is going to be another one in part of a series showing a conversion of a Daihatsu Hijet from a bog standard panel van into a full DVLA registered camper van. This video is going to be a bit of maintenance on the van. It's been parked up in the same spot for a couple of weeks now and as you can see it started to leave a little puddle. Now the van did have an MOT advisory on a sump gasket oil leak that was a couple of years ago wasn't noted last year but it looks as though it's obviously still here again you can see that the uh, leak is around the bottom of the sump gasket no oil above it really and you can just see all the way around the seal it's all oily so it's all gonna have to come off and get a replacement on now they don't really do high jet sump gaskets uh, there's other gaskets that will fit but the other alternative is to actually just uh, make your own with some sealant that's made specifically for the job. As you can see, this is actually gasket silicone. So first things first, I'm going to have to drain the oil out of the sump completely, just undo the sump plug. Then once it's fully drained, I'm going to be taking the sump pan off, giving that good clean down, making sure any residue from the previous uh, sealant, because these are just bonded on as far as I'm aware, so remove all traces of the old sealant, get it nice and clean, get a nice layer of uh, this silicone gasket going all the way around, get it mounted back in, get it filled back up with oil. Hopefully by the end of the day we'll have a oil leak free hijet. So first things first, get the sump plug off, that's a 14 mil on this and have a catch pan ready. Thankfully this is an old pan, don't use a, don't use a good pan. So as you can see we're pretty much down to just drips coming out of the sump pan now so now the easiest thing to do is actually put the sump plug back in just screw it back in finger tight and then that'll stop any of the drips otherwise you could just leave it dripping for hours on end when there's only a residual amount in the actual pan itself so easiest thing now pop the sump plug back in then we can start undoing the bolts and get the sump off now for this hydrat, it's only 10mm bolts, obviously you need to check whatever bolt size is needed, they're not all going to be 10mm, it all depends on the make, model, size of the engine, this, that, the other. Always double check before you start doing anything else. So that's all of the bolts off the sump now. Obviously the sump still hasn't come away because as I say these are there we go. Thought they were bonded in, but there we go. It's off. Now it's gonna need a hell of a good clean down, a full degrease before any sort of new gasket sealant goes back on. So as I say, I'm gonna let this finish dripping off, get another pan underneath it. I should have put a pan underneath earlier on, as you can see, it was dripping off to a side as well as I didn't realise. But, never mind, I can soon clean that up. So, I'll let this finish dripping out, give this pan a full clean down. I've got some gunk degreaser, I've got a few other bits and bobs as well, so... Once it's finished dripping, I'll give this a clean, see what it looks like. So there's the bottom of the actual sump, pretty much all scraped clean and clear of all of the old gasket sealer that was used. Now I'm just going to get some degreaser, give this a good wipe down, do the same with the bottom of the pan. Then it'll be okay to get some new gasket applied and get it refitted. So I've just given the oil pan the scrubbing of its life. As you can see it's now nice and clean, nice and dry. Ready to have the new gasket sealant put back on. As I say, that's the stuff I'm going to be using. The Winds Black Gasket Marker Maker, sorry. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for this stuff. As I say, this is just a case of running a bead all the way around. 
nothing too chunky because obviously it will compress when it gets uh, fastened back up onto the actual uh, engine block but still need to have a pretty much continuous bead going all the way around otherwise that's where you're going to start getting leaks again so I'm going to get some of this applied then it's a case of getting this mounted gently back onto the engine without smudging or smearing it too much then just getting it uh, loosely tight let it set a bit then give it the final tighten up so I'll get some of this applied and see what it looks like So there's a nice bead going all the way around and as I say that should seal up nicely when it gets attached back on. So it's a case of just attaching them nice and slowly and carefully, just doing them opposite sides, top and bottom, left and right and then as I say just slowly tightening them in. So now this bead's ready, I'll leave it just for a minute or two just to let it go slightly slightly tacky and then as I say I'll get them out within. So I've left the sealant gasket to cure up overnight so now it's just a case of filling the engine back up with some nice fresh new oil this particular van needs around about 3.7 litres I believe but obviously if you're doing it on a different van you do need to check just to see how much oil you do need and obviously you do need to put some oil in before you start turning over the engine as well so I'll get this filled up, the van back off the ramps give it a fire up and hopefully there should be no more leaks so I've got the van now back down off the ramps, it's on a nice fresh patch of floor that doesn't have any leak on it. So I'm now going to start the engine up, leave it running for 5-10 minutes, then I'm going to pick the video back up in a couple of days and then we'll find out if there's any more puddles or not or whether I've been able to fully seal up brand new gasket and stop the oil leak. So it's been a few weeks now since I've done the sump gasket repair. I thought I'd leave it until I did the final roundup, just in case there were any issues with it. Uh, but I'd say weeks on, the van's been moved a couple of times. It's been down to the paint shop and back now, and it's just dry and solid as a bone. As I say, there's absolutely no oil, no leaks, no nothing. It's all nice and clean and tidy, as you can see. I'm running my finger all the way around the actual gasket where the join was, and it's just nice and clean. Whereas before. There was just a big puddle of oil underneath it basically. So that's a nice dry, fully sealed up sump gasket. All fully repaired, all the old ones scraped off, full oil change. I've also done a filter change on the uh, engine as well while I was replacing the oil. I've done a new filter as well. So that's the old sump gasket fully scraped off, fully removed. The sump itself scrubbed within an inch of its life to get a nice clean surface for the new gasket to be made. That's a new gasket fitted on, some pre-fitted, new oil, new filter, a couple of weeks since the repair was done, just to be sure that there, there weren't any issues, and as I say, the van's been started multiple times, just to get the oil circulating, it's been moved a couple of times, it's been taken down to the paint shop and back, and as I say, it's born dry, so it looks as though there's been a good repair, a good seal, and I now no longer have an oil leaking that I had to hide yet. So that's how I've fully repaired the sump gasket on this little die had to hide yet that I'm doing. If you found this video useful, do give the video a good old thumbs up. Have a look at my channel, there's loads of content on there already covering everything from rust conversion, van conversions, uh, building units, cabinets, this, that, the other, start motor repairs, replacements, batteries, loads of different content on my channel. So do have a look there. Give this video a good old thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And hopefully, I'll see you on the next video of my channel.
Thanks for watching. Cheers.